Next, we're going to feature um, the updated news regarding Kylie Jenner's new brand. Um, this is an article here, for courtesy of Vogue Business, that kind of speaks on it. It's, the title is, it's very personal, as her new brand starts to drop, Kylie Jenner um, on why Kai has her full attention. You obviously see a picture here I featured before, talking about this really great leather um, trench coat and these really good heels that she's got in there. Um, let's read the article. It says, Kai Jenner comes to call. It's the day before her brand, Kai delivers a debut shop collection number 001. And it also happens to be Halloween. So she even a little bit spooked. I'm very nervous, she says, but I'm also very excited. By the time this um, my micro interview is posted, a debut 12 piece micro offer, co designed by Berlin label Namila. Um, the, the media sorry should be available in Kai's e-store um, for now though Jenna and her 25 team 25 strong team has its pre-registration intel with which to gauge the appetite there's been a strong level of interest she says lots of engagement on all socials is greater than I could have imagined it's been a week since Kai's um, existence has been revealed on Wall Street Journal um, even before the launch the newspaper named Kai the winner of the brand's category of innovator of the year which is absolutely insane to be honest just launching a brand the other day and you get an award for it it's peak nepotism but anyway we continue um peak privilege and nepotism but you continue um yeah just before just because our following on instagram and tiktok is approaching half a billion people doesn't mean a gender isn't engaging in the day-to-day -day grind i want people to know how completely involved i am in this i also i love when people say this sort of stuff like like no we we're, we're never gonna believe you right so you might as well just do the work anyway no one's ever gonna believe that Kai Jenner is out here kind of you know drawing um designs for her collection or sitting down pattern cutting or you know uh making samples going to the factory for production manufacture doing you know R&D like we don't believe it we're never going to believe it so why even talk about it just do the work and over time if it gets proven that you actually do the thing the rumors will come out the story will come and everyone will believe you after the fact but trying to you know it's I guess YouTubers do it a lot as well when they're doing like collab projects they'll be like oh I've been working on this for so long with this team it's like bruh we were never going to believe this unless we saw the evidence of it so just keep it to yourself drop the product hope people buy it you know what I mean there's no need to, to lie here um, it continues from original co <laughs> lols from original concept to designing or co-designing if we're working with other designers from picking fabrics colors i've been in every fitting room yeah right i'm the creative director of the brand and marketing there's not an instagram post or video that has been personally that hasn't been personally edited by me um there hasn't been an instagram post that i haven't posted myself i do creative for the shoots i've worked really hard for it i put my love into it and i can't wait for people to experience the clothes it's very personal um it doesn't feel very personal don't it? that's that's the problem really to it. It, it all this personal stuff and you see it and it's kind of i wouldn't say it's bland or basic but for what it's worth given the amount of options women have these days in terms of shopping right you look at the fast fashion sort of like spit you know like shitty stuff like sheen and you know whatever else it may be and then you look at the other brands are kind of micro brands or these influencers and these kind of instagram brands online and other brands are set up and i think they all kind of do this job very well in terms of offering that kind of quality of garment just above a sheen but also much cheaper than like a designer brand for instance they kind of fill that void very well and i feel like i've seen these type of designs from other brands before and the odd thing for me is that i'm wondering what it is about her in particular the, that family where although they wear very fabulous crazy designs and you know fashion and shit why are they intent on dressing us normies like npcs i can't really figure it out like why do they want us to dress like you know in monotone colors and shit right looking all boring and sad right and whatever it may be but then when they step out they're dressed head to toe to the nines in whatever crazy amazing garments that they have so and the other thing that's odd too because i think i mentioned we, we already saw that kylie obviously made a big effort to attend loads of paris fashion week shows so definitely it felt like there was a concerted effort to maybe position her more in that sort of field in terms of you know you know steering away from the street where hip hop -y side of things right going away from the black people and turning more to the whites um aesthetically and you would have assumed it would just be something else that she was offering and it wouldn't be this basic shit and again i'm just confused as to why we get this and they get to wear like you know strapparelli strapparelli sorry right and whatever else garments that they're wearing and we get to fucking have this sort of stuff like i wonder what that is all about maybe it's them maybe it's them recognizing that the majority of their fan base is never going to be able to afford what they're wearing right dolce gabbana um you know um what you call it um 
chrome hearts whatever else that they're wearing maybe this is their way their way of kind of quote unquote thanking the fans by giving them some poor people clothes but i just don't understand it um i feel like this picture is hilarious of kylie sitting on the floor trying to style a shoot um it's, it, it, it's giving instagram stylist right in terms of hey here's me fixing the collar on the model while i take a picture and shit all to get stylist but hey you gotta start somewhere and then you've got the other collection i think so the first one was done in what in black and then i guess there's other shapes in blue but they look very familiar to the yeezy stuff that he did with gap that's the funny thing about it right like it all looks very yeezy ish um especially some of the jackets and stuff um and you know i, I wonder what he has to say about this because especially there's one particular coat that i've seen her wearing that looks very much like the yeezy thing he done for gap the one without the buttons and shit um, so I'll be curious to see what he actually thinks of that sort of stuff. But yeah, um, I don't know. It's not very impressive to me. That feels like a little bit like it's not necessary. I don't really. It also kind of looks like that other brand that existed that was all in blue. If you remember that one, I forgot the name of it. It was a bit, I think they had all their basics in kind of blue. And I think they might have been associated with Yeezy also. Um, I think it's called Entire Studios or something like that. They were around, not sure what happened to them. Maybe they folded um, in with Kai. Who knows, that might be the case. But overall, not really that impressed looks kind of basic to me um maybe that's the whole point of it but i don't really see why it basically needs to exist that's my basic premise of it but let's go back to the article um she says um well i didn't care what anyone said i think there's a lot of power in that and i'm definitely channeling my king kylie energy this year so the starting point is the drop with zero one channels what kylie jenna calls the time when i was growing into myself i'm always experimenting with my style i'm always switching it up that's why it's important for us to make this drop really different i think people will be surprised to see drop two and how different it is from drop one is it really that different though you just swap the lever for the for the what you call it whatever that material is right i don't think it's really that different is it really that's drop one and then drop two is all of the other shit i don't really think it's that different it's kind of just the same shit it's all you know monochrome um very tightly fitting leggings and shit i don't know the shapes aren't really that different really uh, maybe the, maybe i guess there's leggings there's coats there's gloves here who knows but i don't really feel like it's that different let me just double check this collection again see maybe i missed something here um so that's drop one we don't have drop two do we actually we don't can we refresh that maybe drop two is released already is it released or not yeah as well as future collaboration she will eventually drop what she calls my independently designed core kai line so she's going to start off with collaborations with various different collaborators and people that she thinks are iconic and then later on down the line there'll be a core line of stuff that'll be designed in-house i guess so basically take and steal from people and then do your own thing later i love it um whether acne studios or prada or um jenna threw herself into the runway circuit this autumn she says that in addition to forging so many relationships with the industry on her tour the experience gave her so much more appreciation and love for the fashion world every time i go to paris oh uh, sorry so much of my appreciation and love for the fashion world and how fast and fun it is um every time i go to paris amazing things happen i love the world and i'm excited to be a part of it there's no question that whichever emerging designers jenna might elect to partner with in the future they will also receive a high quantifiable value um these designers are amazing i'm also a fan and the way that i've been looking um is that i'm grateful that to work with them and be a part of this especially in amelia to collaborate with me on a brand that hasn't even launched yet as you can see there you can see some stuff courtesy of them blah blah blah, blah. around the same time she stopped posting on tumblr in 2015 jennifer and, okay cool we don't need all that history lessons but yeah it's there it exists um again i'm not really too sure why it exists personally it seems like a bit of a waste of time to be completely honest i'm not really too sure what this is actually adding to the conversation it feels like it's gonna probably end up kind of you know fizzling out very very soon or maybe not not maybe it'll catch wind people will really be into it but i think these shapes are kind of a bit tired um and a bit uninspired i'm not really too sure if, if people actually need this um in the grand scheme of things but in terms of pricing maybe that might be the thing that might get people because a lot of this stuff isn't that expensive is it it's like 110 for the mini dress that you see there the leggings are 63 pounds um that amazing coat that she's wearing a trench that sold out that was only 215 the cropped um hoodie jacket was 130 so it's, it's fairly okay in terms of pricing so maybe that's why it's actually going to work the price it might should make it you know make it make it make sense um going forward but so far i'm not really seeing anything that's really that eye-opening that would warrant people kind of you know you know cracking open their wallets and making it kind of rain for this sort of stuff it just kind of looks a little bit whatever um okay this is shop drop number two i found it here um 
Who's collaboration with? This is um, in collaboration. Oh, it is done with Entire Studios. Okay, cool. It is an Entire Studios thing. So Entire Studios um, was um, absorbed by Kai. And we've got here crop jackets. We've got puffer coats. We've got cargo pants. We've got cat suits. Um, puffer jackets again. So we've got the same puffer jackets in this off-white bone color. And then this also bluey, iconic Entire Studios color. And also black. Okay, interesting. So... Yeah, let's see how it does going forward. But again, I'm not really that impressed, to be fair. And again, I'm really curious as to know why they want to dress in Dolce Gabbana, but then they want the public to dress like NPCs. I wonder why that is the case. I really do, do wonder because so far, I haven't found out a valuable or interesting answer to that question just yet. <laughs>